Good morning, you all. Nope, I'm not wearing my filter today. <laughs> no more love games. Didn't want to be your love slave. With the money you have, hope your car burned down in flames. That's the way I used to feel. Come on, y'all. I changed the way. say that good morning y'all tgif thank god it is friday this is your girl miss nicole tyler mm -hmm. on my way to work yes 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 on my way to work this morning i started my morning off with listening to sean bradley mm -hmm. he was up this morning i believe don't quote me on this but i believe he had seven stars in the live and he had tracy in the live um good morning to the other youtube content creators that was in sean's live i didn't uh, coming to the chat to say good morning. I just was in the bushes listening y'all But um, what I want to talk about y'all is I was moseying on the YouTube streets last night and I was in some type of shock honey when I saw mama dragon versus baby dragon Mm-hmm. So let me say it the way that I, I heard it. I heard it uh, baby dragon versus mama dragon Okay, seven stars and Olivia the Oracle child, oh my God, apparently, uh, Olivia the Oracle, you know, she had some teachable moment, you know, uh, YouTube in our sector has been on edge, has, people has been crying and praying for Rita, the baddest roaster and her family, um, Rita's daughter Lala Dime came out and she did three or four powerful videos talking about everything that has been going on with her and her family. Um, how, you know, she has been abused and manipulated, beat up, you know, uh, what I want to say, um, beat up um, that, and put out the home. I guess she even left the home to live with her mother who has been, who has been raising her for a year or more. And um, she just was coming out telling everybody how frustrated and how tired that she is of what her mother is going through. And it spilled out onto the YouTube streets. Now, we know Rita always puts out her damn own tea. And she finds this as entertainment. And I've been saying that in all my videos, right? So that's why I didn't really harp on it too much. Because I've been telling you all this. People who follow Miss Nicole Tyler and I thank all my subscribers subscribers supporters and viewers but you all know i've been telling y'all this stuff the whole damn time that she finds this as entertainment and, and it's very stressful for your daughter um who is what 19 years old between 19 and 21 i don't know her exact age and for her to see what is going on on youtube with her mother like she said her mother's always going back and forth with somebody or always getting her blood pressure up arguing arguing online and but I, what i have to say about that young lady is your mother came on to this this platform arguing with people online she came out uh roasted and gagging me and tasha k and mona simone these are the people that i think i that i it was included myself that she was roasted and gagging so she came on these streets beefing anyway so of course it's going to escalate escalate as your name get out there and all of these things um so tensions were very high so anyway uh also you all let me shout out as hutchison she did a powerful uh interview and was doing trying to do some interventions over there did lala dime rita's daughter called into s hutchison's channel her mother called into s hutchison's channel and they had a whole prayer services prayer service going on over there okay yes they had the prayer warriors out there surrounding that family i believe um from what i'm hearing also that as hutchison got the family some food uh because the daughter was saying they didn't have anything to eat but cereal okay um olivia heard this and somehow she was troubled in her spirit she came online you know she's always be hiding hiding behind the black screen she was in tears she was crying because she is not able to uh has was not able to give her husband um uh, children and um you know and she was saying you know basically these people have can these people are so blessed to have children but yet this is what they're doing to their children they're abusing their children allowing their children to be uh sexually molested and everything else and um 
she was saying that when she was 20 years old, she said she used to like to go to the club. She used to love to wear makeup because, you know, Olivia Arco is always talking about a, a woman's appearance. If they wear makeup, she says she thinks it looks nice. But then in the same breath, she'll go into saying something negative about women, black women who wears makeup. OK, and she's never really approved of me wearing makeup and me being myself. But um, so she was talking about that and she was in really upset uh, talking about, her, you know, when she did was trying when she was going to the club, her uh, grandmother told her that she looked like a French whore. Um, and I guess she scolded her so bad mentally, in my opinion, that uh, she never wore makeup again. Um, her sister began having children, so her grandmother told her that she's going to have to be the, the matriarch in the family, you know, take take that baton, and she's just going to have to be more grown up than she is. She's going to have to take on, she's going to have to take on uh, more responsibility because her children, her sister was having children. Olivia can't have children. So she was upset. She was talking about that. And next thing I know, Olivia started talking about Sean Bradley. Now, I was listening. I was really taken aback because it was like the record said, like, what the hell just happened? Apparently, Seven Stars was listening to, was maybe in the chat and was rocking with Olivia till she brought up Sean Bradley. This is what I'm assuming. And you all know sometimes I'm a little off. So, I for, forgive me for that, right? But, um, yeah, she, was, she started talking about Sean Bradley being the devil and how the de how Sean Bradley has a smile. He comes to you with a smile or saying some things like that, right? So I was confused and I didn't even listen too much after that because I did not know what the hell Sean Bradley had to do with Olivia and all that dysfunction she got going on over there in her damn house. And she brought Sean Bradley into it. I was just like, okay, let me um get off of here because Olivia has just ran off the damn cliff with this one so apparently uh seven stars thought the same damn thing and uh, i didn't even know that maybe they were going back and forth in the chat because i was not even watching the chat and seven stars came on her live and she let miss olivia the oracle have it okay i was in damn shock i don't even know the title of the video because i went back to watch the video like another time and it was it seemed to be gone i guess she put it on private or but i just couldn't find the video she let Miss Olivia have it, okay? I, oh, she didn't drag Olivia. Child, she dragged her ass, okay? Miss Olivia, I have to agree with Seven Stars on this one. You are set in your damn ways, and you're not even that damn old. I will be. This is a this is to Fire Babe on this one, cause Fire Babe thinks I'm 57 and 67. Fire Babe, I will be 48 this year in october okay now if you if you want to pull up put up a wage honey and to see my birth certificate put your money where your mouth is your girl nicole tyler does not lie okay about my age and if i'm lying sometimes i don't know that i'm lying or i'm misinformed okay i'm not gonna go in too much on you right now on this video but just put your money where your mouth is okay we you got all that mouth over there you can girl you own all this property over there Mm-hmm. yes you're paying for your daughter's lunches now okay put your money where your mouth is mm -hmm. that's some shade i said it so anyway olivia and i are about the same damn age but it seems to me in my opinion olivia you just set in your ways you, you, in my opinion, you act like you 99 damn years old, like you was a slave, girl. You acting like you was, you came out in the Jim Crow era. You was Jim Crow era. You, you was, oh, Lord, it, pick it, it, cotton. That's the way it seems to me. And, and trust me, y'all, I'm, I'm for reparations, restitution. I have all my ancestors around me that were slaves. So don't think I'm throwing shots at the slave because my slave aunt, brothers and sisters are with me every day. I take them everywhere I go. And the way the reason why I'm strong is because of my, my slave ancestors, okay? So don't even come, oh, you're throwing shots. No, I'm never throwing shots at my slave ancestors. They're the ones who give me the strength. Let me get you straight right there. I said it, Nicole Tyler. Olivia, you, you are wrong. You were wrong. I don't know how you are obsessed with Sean Bradley. Sean Bradley do not be talking about you. He ain't even thinking about you. I don't know why a lot of these other YouTube content creators are thinking about Sean and obsessed with Sean. He is moving on with his damn life. Yes, he is messy. I'm messy. We all are messy in this sector because this is what this sector calls for to keep the dag on storylines and re reality lines or whatever the hell you want to call it, the content going. 
Okay, so we all have to have some level of messiness, okay, and drama and theatrics, okay? We have to do that for you all. But damn, to be obsessed with Sean Bradley, to call him a demon and a devil, and that he smiles in your face, and that he got all these AKA flying monkeys, which Tracy said that's a racial term, okay? That's what Tracy said, y'all. It don't make no damn sense, Olivia, and I have to give it be on Baby Dragon. You gave her that name. I have to be on her side. It does not make any damn sense. You... I see that you have been trying to change your platform a little bit or your, your content, uh, Miss Olivia. You know, you're trying to be more open. But you are no better than, you know, those damn home country southern women who just sits on the porch and, and, and go to church every Sunday who's cooking a whole daggone pig for the church. And, and I love you, baby. And then when the person turn around, oh, yeah, but I bet she done slept with a mama's boyfriend today. Oh, I love you, honey. Mm, look how short that skirt is. Mm, I love you, honey. Oh, she no good and well. Um, she don't need to be uh, carrying that baby around like that. Uh -huh, I bet you that ain't even his real daddy. Mm -hmm. See, that's Olivia. That's the kind of tease you giving me, Olivia. Those are those vibes that you're giving me, girl. You are a huge judge of other people's lives, just like Jay Wilson. Jay Wilson is the same way, messy, messy, messy church queen. That is why, in my opinion, you and Jay Wilson will get along great because you all see things the same way. Y'all sit on y'all high, high pedestals trying to look down at people, trying to roast and gag people when y'all need to clean out your own backyard, okay? And your front yard, your front porch. Mm -hmm. Maybe look up under your damn bed. That's what you need to do. Look up under your damn bed, and what is under there do not belong under there. Throw it away, okay? That is what both of y'all need to do. But right now, this is about you, Olivia. That's why I think, Olivia, you, you really didn't uh, uh, take to me so much because you see me out there doing things that you were not doing. And that's what I was really telling people when I was saying, Olivia, if you want to be friends with people, just be their friends. Whether it's on YouTube or not, don't bring me up what I have to do with anything. But Olivia, you see me putting my face out there, whether it's with a filter or not. You see me out there doing my dancing, whether I'm in shape or not. You see me out there doing my singing, whether I say I'm the best or not. You see me changing up my wigs. You see me putting on different makeup. You see me doing different things. And here you are, your age, embarrassed about how you look, and you sitting behind a damn black screen. Now, recently, I think I saw a little bit of your video where you were in a damn car. <laughs> you still have not gotten up the courage to, to show your face on camera. Now, for you to be this judge and holy of thou, the holy of, of, of thou, however you say it, uh, queen of righteousness, honey, sanctimonious, you mean to tell me you afraid to show your face on camera? Hmm? The way you calling people flying monkeys and calling people dumb and stupid unintelligent and like what is what is uh seven stars say last night she said you are just a, regurg a regurgitator okay you are a regurgitator okay you sit up there and you go on these um other platforms that's quote unquote supposed to be black consciousness ain't doing nothing for the conscious community I said it, and you regurgit you come over here and regurgitate it and act like you're dropping some tea on people. And, and I just sit up there and shake my head at your fans because they just don't know. They don't know what's going on. I, you know, okay, got 14 moments. Your fans do not know what the hell is going on. They're just thinking, oh, oh it's Olivia D'Arco. She's here. She knows what she's going to get these people straight on YouTube. She's going to clean up the YouTube streets. When everything around your backyard, front yard, up under your bed need to be swept clean, mop, mop and glow, mop and glow. You need to mop, glow and go. <laughs> okay. Mop, glow and go. Get buck naked. Look in the mirror. Be happy with the way you look, sister girl. And show how you look. Okay. All right. Now, you know, I've always said, Olivia, that you smoke those damn black and miles. My prayer for you is you to put it down. Okay, go put the nicotine patch on. You know, from what I seen, you had the dark lips. That to me, that comes from black and miles and smoking cigarettes. Um, I don't know what you can do for that. Put some color on your lips. Okay, you see, Miss Nicole have her little eyelashes on. I put on every day. Do that. They yes, they clam me for my eyebrows because I draw them on. Do that. Do what make you happy. Be you. Do you. Okay, y'all know this. This is a live video, y'all, and I'm not editing, so this is the way it's gonna be. So if I mess up on the damn words. 
I just mess up on the damn words. Okay. Uh, what else I got to say? Y'all, please stop being obsessed with Sean Bradley. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Um, what else is going on on the YouTube streets? This video is 15 minutes so far. Um, I'm, I'm taking care of business. That's what I'm doing, y'all. I'm taking care of business. And I'm in such, I'm in a kerfuffle. I'm in a dilemma in my mind, right? Because, like I said, I, is some legal things that I can do to go forward with what I have done. Or I can put an end and stop to it. If I feel that it was not, this was not going to be carried out. But what I have to say, you all, is when people, in my opinion, in my opinion, you know Nicole Tyler is an energy person. So whatever you put out in these airwaves, you have to make sure you're putting out some type of positivity. I know that we are always roasting and gagging, y'all. But a lot of times we are putting out positive videos. You just have to listen to the video to get what we're telling you. And so I think that when you put negative things out there like that, especially someone wants to harm somebody and they don't care about their damn family. To me, you, if you're not going to carry this out, you don't know who is watching and who wants to really come and perform that act. And even though it might not be them, somebody else might be obsessed and stalking me or Sean or Olivia the Oracle or Seven Stars, Heidi Snowfly, Tracy, you know, the best that I've got. Somebody, Beauty by Joyce, somebody could be stalking us. And all they need to hear is something like what uh, what uh, Rita put in those text messages, and then they'll say, "Oh, I got the op I got the doors open for me to carry this out." So that's why I was I am taking it very seriously. Okay, you all, I'm not gonna stay on that too long because that's like a Debbie Downer. You know, we all no one wants to hear about anything like that happening to me, you out there, anybody. I don't want nothing to happen to anyone out there like that but i do i do believe in energy and i believe that when you put stuff out there it comes back to you so um i am praying for that family and um and i thank you all for your prayers for my mom her surgery is on tuesday the 23rd i hope i got that date right not the date i know it's the 23rd i hope to i think tuesday is the 23rd so yes yeah, so i'll be spending a lot of my time um with my mom a lot of my family members are coming here like i said to for support um because when you are an older woman and you're going under anesthesia um they're working on your heart it is a type of um you know a type of not knowing unknowing in your mind it's unsettled meant unsettled in your mind that you go through you know, you know, frustration, scared, you're worried, you want to, you're hoping that you come back out of that to see your loved ones. So I think that's what, not just my mom, a lot of people go through that um, when they're older and they have to have surgery. So that's what I'm saying that um, I thank you all for your prayers. And trust me, we have been there for my mom. Um, I'm probably going to go there today, this afternoon, this evening, um, sit with her, talk to her. Um, just to see where her mind is at. And we, we've been doing that. My family is pretty close when it comes to stuff like that. But anyway, you all, thank God it's Friday. I'm alive. I made it. And um, I thought the camera had stopped. <laughs> um, I made it to see today. It's a blessing to be here to get another chance to see you all. And uh, without my filter. <laughs> and um, and to get a chance to make a difference in someone's life. Because that's what it, it means. So, my name is Nicole Tyler. Let me, uh, dee, 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 dee. Uh, cut the car back on so y'all can hear. Go on out with them. I will survive, y'all. I will survive. Let me take y'all out with this. This is a positive, motivational song, y'all. Merchandise, my shirts, my t-shirts are $25. Send me your P.O. box number 
$25 and I will send you your sexy clean t-shirt with the sexy clean single also a picture of Miss Sexy Clean, Miss Nicole Tyler, okay? To my email. I'm spinning round and round. I tried the best I could. I'm gonna walk away. You cheated. y'all but anyway my email is in tyler in tyler 703 at gmail.com okay y'all all right y'all i'm gonna get ready to go this video is going a little long i thank y'all for listening and watching and supporting your girl miss nicole tyler oh yeah let me tell y'all <laughs> I was I went to get my nails done right y'all but they got so packed when I got there and I was telling um I was in Sean's who's I was in Sean's or Tracy's live and I was saying I was gonna get my nails a greenish gold right y'all for money love and luck but they were too damn packed so I had to walk out of there so I'll probably get my nails done tomorrow morning okay all right now I'm gone have a blessed day. I can spread my wings and